Hi there. Now, if you want to test your algebraic skills with the division of complex numbers, then this might be the question for you. What I've got here is 3 plus 6i all divided by 4 minus 2i, and then it's minus 1 minus i all divided by 2 plus i, and then all of this top is divided by 1 minus 2 divided by 5i. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, so let's see how you might have got on. There's several ways that we could do this, and I'm not going to be able to show you all the ways, but uh, hopefully at the end you can check that you get the same answer as I do. But uh, the method I'm going to give you, I think, is one of the quickest ways. So that is to remove the fractions here, 4 minus 2i, 2 plus i, and 5i in one go. And to do that, when we get a stacked fraction like this, we multiply top and bottom then by 5i times 4 minus 2i times 2 plus i. So you're going to get something like this, okay? Now, what that means is that when we come to this first term here, okay, then the 4 minus 2i gets cancelled out, and we're just left with the 5i multiplied with the 2 plus i, and that is then multiplied with just 3 plus 6i. So that cleans up that term. Now we move on to this next term on the top here. It's going to be negative. This time the 2 plus i cancels out, leaving us with 5i times the 4 minus 2i. And that is then multiplied with the 1 minus i. Then in the denominator, the 1 is multiplied by all of that, so we're just going to get 5i times 4 minus 2i times 2 plus i. And then for this one here, the 5i will cancel out, just leaving us with the 2 multiplied with the 4 minus 2i and the 2 plus i. So, as I say, that method gets rid of the fractions very quickly. Now for this term here, I'll just leave the 5i at the front and expand out the two brackets here. So you're going to get 2 3's are 6, then you're going to get 12i plus 3i, so that's going to be 15i. And then you've got i times 6i, so that's going to be minus 6. As for this one, we'll just leave the 5i again out the front here, expand the two brackets, and you're going to get 4, and then you're going to get minus 4i, and then minus a further 2i, so that's going to be minus 6i, and then you've got minus 2i times minus i, so that's going to be plus 2i squared. i squared is minus 1, so you're going to end up with minus 2 there. In the denominator then, what we've got here is, again, we just keep the 5i out the front here. Expanding the two brackets, you're going to get 4 times 2, which is 8. Then you're going to get 4i minus 4i, so that's going to uh, disappear, so that's nice. And then you've got just simply minus 2i times i, so that's going to be plus 2. And for the next one here, we've got minus 2, and it's the same brackets multiplied out, okay? So that's going to give us, again, 8 plus 2. So moving on then, if we take this first term here, the 6 is cancelled, just leaving us with 5i times 15i. That's going to be plus 75i squared. i squared is minus 1, so you end up with minus 75 there. And then here, you've just got minus 5i, in fact, I won't expand the bracket yet. We've got 4 minus 2, which is 2, and then you've got minus 6i there. And all of this is divided by, well, this is 10, so you've got 10 times 5i, which is 50i, so 50i there. 
and for this one you've got minus 20. Now I notice that I can divide top and bottom by 5 so the 5 goes into that 75 15 times it goes into the 5 there once into the 50 10 times and into the 20 four times. So cleaning this up further then what we've got is that this equals minus 15 and then expanding the bracket here minus i times 2 is minus 2i and then you've got minus i times minus 6i so that's plus 6 and that's going to be divided by 10i minus 4. I'm going to turn that round put the real part first minus 4 then plus 10i and this will clean up to minus 21 minus 2i and that's all divided by minus 4 plus 10i. Now we shouldn't leave it like this. We need to split it up into a real part and an imaginary part. And we do that by taking our fraction and multiplying it by the complex conjugate of the denominator here, minus 4 plus 10i. Complex conjugate of that is minus 4 minus 10i. So my, minus 4 minus 10i divided by minus 4 minus 10i there. So it's a bit of a squeeze but if we do that then on the top here you end up with minus 21 times minus 4 that's going to be 84. Then you've got minus 21 times minus 10i so that's going to be plus 210i and then here you've got minus 2i times minus 4 that's plus 8i. So it's going to come to plus 218i. And then finally here you've got minus 2i times minus 10i. So that's plus 20i squared which turns out to be minus 20. And dividing then this by minus 4 times minus 4 which is 16. The imaginary parts cancel out because you're going to get plus 40i minus 40i. And then you're just left with 10i times minus 10i. That's going to be minus 100i squared, which will be plus 100. So you end up with, for the real parts on the top, 64 plus 218i. And that's all divided by 116. And we need to split this up into real and imaginary parts. So 64 over 116 reduces down to 16 over 29. And 218 over 116, that reduces down to 109 divided by 58. And that will be I, the imaginary part. Okay, so I hope you're able to get that answer. And... Uh, well done, if you did. If not, you've been able to see where you might have gone wrong. As I say, this is not the only way of doing this question. But whatever your method, hopefully you've been able to arrive at this answer then. Okay?